We're back with London South East Classic now. And this is the year in Derby from Nantes. And this is a general view of the liberation site here at Nantes. There's several organisations here today with us. And the first to go is the North West Combine. It's a nice big spacious liberation site here at Nantes. The weather's absolutely fantastic. We drove down last night and it was lovely and clear all night. Stars and moon. And we anticipate our liberation about 7.30. There's sun on the baskets already. And our convoy is about 1500 strong. This is the next federation to go. And it's the Cheshire Federation. There's about 2,500 pigeons on this transporter. And they've got about 400 mile fly home. This lovely spacious liberation site is all part of the complex belonging to the Nantes race course. The aliens are up at 7.30 in a north wind with sun on the baskets. Tonight we've come to Old Woking in Surrey to visit the Nantes Winning Loft on Mr and Mrs Tony Fletcher and Sons. Good evening Tony. Uh, good evening Keith, how good. are you? Oh, I'm not too bad mate. Jolly good, nice to see you again. A bit stressed after last Saturday at Nantes. I should think you are, yes. Yep, well, congratulations yep. on winning Thank you race. very much indeed, thank What's you. What's your feelings on winning it? We're over the moon. We're all yeah. over the moon, we really are. Yeah. Yep. What's one or two of your previous best performances? Um, we, we joined the Classic uh, in, in 94 uh, and we were ninth open in our first ever race, so we were pleased with that. 95 was even better. Uh, we were seventh, seventh, and fourth open. Uh, last year we were second open Classic, and this year we've, we've, we've topped the Classic. Brilliant. How have you been in the sport? We've been in the sport uh, 15 years altogether, but racing seriously over the last five or six years. Yeah. What's your circumstances of starting up? Um, we used to breed and show exhibition budgets years ago, you know, and um, we, they went and we were looking for something else, and, and this was just what we were after. Yeah, because your wife's very interested. She is indeed, yes. She actually loves the race day, see the birds coming home, you know. This is your classic winner then, Tony? Yes, this is Blue Fly, uh, Keith. What family is he? He's uh, basically basically Jansen with some Desmond Mathis in there um, from Ponderosa stock, down from Ponderosa stock. Yeah. How was he sent to the race? He was uh, repaired about 24 hours before basket in. Yeah. He was on a widow at all season? Widow at all season, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We only fly cocks on widow. Yeah. Has he won anything previous? He, um, he went to the first, he wants to get back to, to his nest position. He, um, he, he won 43rd open in the first classic this year, 30th section. Um, he then went to the national, he had an inland race and went to the national and picked up a club prize from there and then another inland race and then into the classic. Yeah, beautiful pigeon deck. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Yeah, thank you. This is Tony's very smart main racing loft. It's 18 by 6, open door trapping, three sections and 
all the birds are kept on grill floors. What system you race your old birds on then, Tony? Um, just cocks on widowhood. Yeah, how many cocks is that? Um, we're normally 12. We've got facility for 22 cocks, but we normally race half of that. Yeah. So half the boxes are empty. How far do they race? Um, up, up to 400 miles, up Saints National, up yeah. to Saints National. Yeah. Do you break them down? Uh, yes, yeah, when they come back. But they normally race fortnightly. They're broken down and then built up on the last six days. Yeah, do you beef the corn up for long distance? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. We, as I say, we only race to 400 miles, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you add to the corn? Uh, we just bring in the protein and peanuts. Yeah. Not too many, just occasion. Uh, uh, how about training? Where, where do you train them from? Uh, training, we, we, we do a 10 day intensive training program before the racing starts. Uh, two training spins between the first and second race, one between the second and third race, which are normally Weymouth races. Um, and then no more training unless they need it, which is very rare. Yeah. Do you show the hen on Friday night? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. We turn the bowl, turn the bowl for half hour, show the hen, um, half a minute, two minutes, five minutes, whatever the individual cock needs. Yeah. How about when they return from race, do you get the hen? Uh, yes, always the hen, yep, yep, they're coming back to the hen. So um, it depends on the race, an easy race, shorter amount of time, a longer race, a longer. Yeah. Uh, do they fly out loft for exercise? Yes, yeah, they exercise morning and evening, uh, one hour every time, and they fly for a solid hour, and yeah. fed exactly at the same time, morning and evening. Yeah, when do you pair them up? <clears throat> pair them up initially uh, um, on the 7th of January, or round about there, whenever we get a nice weekend. Yeah, your blue cock was repaired for the classic. Do yeah. you normally repair at the end of the season for the long races? Uh, yes, most of the time, yeah. Occasionally not, though, w whatever the cock responds to. This is seen inside one of Tony's Widowhood sections. And I must say, the pigeons look extremely well. This is a nice hen, Tony. What's this one? Um, th this is Blue Fly's mother. This is um, Brian's Bella. She's 100% uh, Desmet Mathis, uh, bred down from Ponderosa pigeons and from a Jeff Kirkland hen. Yeah, has she done a quick racing? Uh, she raced as, a, as a, uh, she was trained as a young pigeon, and uh, she was actually bred for stock. And she went to one race inland, and she won the club and topped the federation. Brilliant pigeon, mate. Yeah, super bird. Yeah. yeah. Now brilliant classic winners. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. She's a lovely bird. One strange thing I noticed about your racing off town is your horseshoes upside down. Why is that? Oh right, yes. It's um, in Belgium. They believe that if you turn the horseshoe upside down that any bad luck will drop out, you know, so that that's why we've turned airs. Yeah. Yeah. So when did you do that? We did that in 1994, uh, the first part of the season in 1994, and since then we've had, uh, we've once done some wonderful things. So it obviously works, Keith, as this weekend's just proven, you yeah. know. You really enjoy yourself this week, mate. Oh, yes, indeed, yes, yeah, yeah, very much so, yeah, yeah. Keith, whilst we're, um, whilst we're on, um, doing the video, I would like to take this opportunity of um, just saying a big thank you to yourself and to Doug Went for conveying the pigeons uh, so wonderfully well, and for Steve Appleby, the weatherman. I mean, yeah. it's a, a great team, and without you guys, um, we, we wouldn't achieve what we've done. Well, I'm touched, so mate. I'd like to say a big thank you on that, Steve. Thank you very much, and congratulations, mate. It couldn't have happened a okay. nicer bloke. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Mr and Mrs Tony Fletcher, of old Woking.